Mtaseni Mkofiti Welcome to Sales Reflection It's yet another Wednesday Sangapi? Satano Watu wa premier gang Yeah Thank you so much guys for watching my episodes Yani Manzi asanteni Yani Asanteni tu sana Those who are sending me emails Kwa email yangu TheCelestinDinda.gmail.com Thank you so much. Those who are commenting, sharing, asanteni sana sana. So today I have a guest with me. She's going to say her name. Uh, but before that, this episode of today is for, it has a special part in me. I think because I'm going to learn. I am so ready to learn. This one, it is, it is the guest versus like to me. Na feel ni mean dasaidika sana of course with other parents out there not necessarily parents at our uncles aunties at our wewe maybe you know you know it will help you in one way or the other so to our guest karibu sana asante karibu sana feel at home tuko hapa tunataka tukusaidika so just introduce yourself alafu we can start wow thank you for having me i am delighted my name is rose bai I'm a counseling psychologist and I love parenting a lot, a lot. I am a founder of an organization called Farm Nest Hub because I believe we all need a, a nest that is firm to be able to bring up a child. A child needs that environment for her or him to flourish. So thank you for having me. Looking forward yeah. to this conversation. I love that name, Farm yeah. Nest. Yes. Because most of the nests is na kuanga too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ni structure too, like you need mm. can't hold anything. Yeah, ukipata a farm one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so backstory to kidogo nilikuwa na kuambia. The reason why I thought of bringing a, a we talk about modern parenting. Mm -hmm. Early this year, mm -hmm. I have two boys. Mm -hmm. One is six, the other one is one. Yeah. So early this year, uh, me niko tu kwa nyumba, niko tu vizu kabla our nanny is come back, you know, before mm. Tokyo holiday. Yeah. So to make an hour December, no jabi yonakwangu mechoka kichwa, mm -hmm. hiyo December. Oh yeah. One of these fine evenings, me tuna shout, vanyo tuna mezoya tu kushout kwa nyumba, ya kupiga maka, ndo vitu zifanywe, mm -hmm. you know. Then Tugi, my elderly boy, ananiambia, mom, why are you shouting? Imagine you don't need to shout. Wow. Eh. Nikashina yenu yamesema hivyo. Mm -hmm. Ukimwangalia kwa uso wake hana madharau, haja nini. Amesema you don't need to shout. Why are you shouting? Innocently. Akisinilishtuka. Mhm. Mm Hiyo swali haina jibu. Juice juice why am I shouting? I don't know. But kwa nini ameniongelesha hivyo? Mm -hmm. Wewe ni mtu ama ni mtu mzima? Like why are you asking? So inside that's what I'm thinking. What is this baby telling me? Mm -hmm. Is he trying to correct me? So nikafika mahali niko zile za wait. I was with my sister there. Can I be just kill my boy? Why are you shouting? Na can I be? You don't need to shout. So I share new reason as well. Na ata kabla ni jibu akanyambia you don't need to. Apo ndo kili nilielewa inyewe things are changing because in my time, then ninga mi amangu kitu kaiyo. I think everything that my mom did back then was correct. Oh yeah. You are not questioning. You are not commenting about it. Whatever she does, whatever she chooses to do. Is okay. Then fast forward. Ali Tamwan a few weeks ago to kind of school meeting, parents meeting. Then we are being taught modern parenting, and I'm like, okay. So there's a thing. Mm -hmm. What is modern parenting, Miss mm -hmm. You are wondering. Yeah. So what is this thing? That's why I thought of having you here. I asked one of my followers. I can you pay a number? Rakaraka. I reached out. Thank you for accepting to come. Mm -hmm. So I want us to talk about this modern parent. Ni 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 modern parenting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Um, I can only imagine how you felt when your own child, like, is uh, advising you how to communicate. Because, like, he was trying to express himself. Like, you don't have to shout. Now, modern parenting, before you go to modern parenting, what is parenting? When you look at parenting, it's basically how you bring up your children. And we bring up our kids the way we saw our parents, our parents do. And so when you are maybe just to affirm what you are doing, you are just doing what you saw happening. You knew shouting makes things done very fast. Oh, yes. The kids rush and do it very fast. Oh, very quick. Because for our parents, is do this. You don't question. We say, because I said so, period. So now we have a whole generation 
that no one has any idea of who they are. They are so informed. The world is teaching them right, left, center, their colleagues. We have internet. They are fast learners. And so they are wondering, how are you slow in your parenting skills? <laughs> Yet we have a script of how parenting should be. Exactly. So we are left in between. And this goes to those of us who are parented by our parents, those the, 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 our days, some days, eh? mm. those parents who are, because I said so, mm. they think you need the walking, they think you need to be disciplined and you need to be, just to be beaten without explanation. You just, the belts are all over. You know, those of us who used to be beaten, we cause, you know, <laughs> shouting. And then within two minutes, there's a lot is happening in the house and then they leave. So as we parent, this kind of parenting, the modern parents are very fixed between an, a traditional parenting and the so-called modern. Now, what is modern? Because we don't have a script of bringing up kids in this generation, we say parents bring up their kids using their gut feeling. My style, you know, my dress, my choice. Mm. It is my parenting style, my choice. Mm. You do what you feel like. But then there's always what we call the right way of doing it. Yes. I know we are dealing with kids are very bright. They have dictionary. The other day, my son comes up with a, with a, with a question and then asks them, why, where is that coming from? I, I checked in my, my dictionary. I realized we bought dictionaries in January. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, before you lie again, they have already referred. They are just asking you to see how this lies sharp, you know, how far mm. are you in your lies? Eh? Mm. So, yeah, I, I must agree with you that modern parenting is where we don't have a script. And my heart goes out to the parents bringing up these kids in this generation mm. because you don't have a script. Because our traditional parenting cannot work. But now question is, yes. so Mimi, I'm that parent. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing up this kid who is very informative, mm -hmm. who is very outspoken, how gopi. Mm. Na nilitumia hii mwa Kenya mama yangu ya mm -hmm. kutandika hakuna ku explain na kugonga tukisonga mm -hmm. so don't so there is this tumwafunza kuje express mm -hmm. like that was a very good question mm -hmm. but hauoni ni kama kuna mahali tafika huyu mtoto akue ndio nasema eh like unajua wewe ulikuwa unaogopa kuongea si kila saa ulikuwa unaongea hiyo mm -hmm. uoga ni kaa pia ilikuwa inasaidia mm -hmm. sijui but in a way mm -hmm. kuna vitu singefanya nini nini mm -hmm. For example, you'll see a kid come here. Maybe one of us is here. Allah for Molize. Kwa nini nani amefanya hivi? To you, you're like, shh. Yeah. You don't. You don't. That is a. That is an elderly person. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Don't shout that. Hatuani ni kama hii pia kuwa fanya kuwa outspoken sana ita. Yeah. Allow me to explain for parenting styles. Uh huh. So that we see, because a lot of us parents think the way we were parented is the best way. Oh, yes. Let's admit, it was lacking in a way. We have four parenting styles. And maybe by this, we are able to see what will work for us. Okay. The first one, we call it permissive. Permissive parenting is where there is no relationship between a parent and a child. They do what they want, when they want, how they want. By the way, the parents are not even aware of their needs. They hustle their way, they walk in. Those are parents at times who can travel. They, are, they don't care what is happening around. They are not into their children's life. Neither are their kids into their parents' life. Freestyle. They are surviving. They are surviving, thank you. When you bring up a child in a survival mode, they learn through their peers, through the internet. There is a disconnect. You as a parent, you have no control over the child and the likes. As a parent, you'll expect, of course, a very rude child, a child with no relationship, because by the end of the day, there is no relationship. You have, you have no control. How do you bring up a child if you have no control? If you have, not, you cannot, you can tell nothing. Let's say about the CBC. You have no clue whether they were given homework or not, yeah. because you are not in, even involved. 
This is why the, 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 the parents, uh, the teachers ask us to give a list of items. You're not even aware there were items that are asked, so you just allow them to be. Of course, this child grows with a very low self-esteem because every other par child has the items you don't have. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of kids you see them in school they are they are with their tattered clothes. It's not that the parents cannot afford. They're not even aware that you, you need a, a new pair of uniform. So those kids grow up with a lot of bitterness, disconnected, and, and what have you. There is what you call neglected. Neglected is where a parent may provide everything you need. But they do not know, know, want to go to swimming. Where? House help, pest and your hizo. Just take them. You want pizza? Yes. How much? It's about how much I'm ready to provide. Mm. But I am not available. So we say children needs your presence more than your presence. Wow. Presence more than the yes, presence. Yes, presence. It is not the amount of money you're giving. It's not, and you hear those kind of parents, and we have a lot in this modern parenting, we have a lot. They say, I have provided everything. I mean, I wonder why you can't perform. I have provided everything. Mm -hmm. I wonder why you're rude. Remember, you're not in their lives. The only thing you're doing better than permissive is at least you're providing. You think providing, you know, you, some people have gotten to a point of you can pay for a holiday, especially this goes out to fathers most. You pay your wife and your house help and your kids tickets and they go for a holiday for a whole one or two weeks, and but you're, you're not, not present with them. They want you. They don't need those offers. They want to connect with you. So this child grows knowing Everything is provided for, but I have no relationship with you. So they, they grow emotional because that's what your parents talk, whatever they say matters a lot to you. Because you have no relationship as well, you get, never get to know, you never assert them. So they grow with very low self-esteem, low assertiveness. They don't know when to say what. They are confused, you know, and they have emotional gap. So as they grow, you'll have little thing you can say about them. You cannot even guide them from where you are not connected. You have no clue of in their life. As well, you have provided Wi-Fi, everything, phones, they have all the gadgets. So if they want to an answer to a question, mm. and so the Ms. Mr. Google is very present. Always. Always. YouTube's. They are waiting. Remember, this information is not always the best. So they will learn their life. There is what we call authoritarian. That is how we were parented, most of us. It is, we say in quotes, it's because I said so. You don't question. The parent is there. By then now, the parents take you, separates you from yourself, separates you from your feelings. The parent is in control. In this particular parenting, the kind of par the parenting style, you realize you didn't have a say. It is what matters. It's what your parents feels. You know, some of these are very practical. Walking in my mother's bed, uh, sitting room, and I think, I think we can have a different setup. Could change to VT2 mm. was something that brought a lot of issues. Oh, yes. Because my mother wanted this seat to sit. And I remember that time we were like, Mutapanga Kwenu. Mom, don't, how about. And my mom, my mom's answer was, No, why? Because this is my house. Oh, yes. You no, know, my, seriously. Mm. Like you wonder, like, Kitty Tuni Kituya, Kuleta Makasiriko, as we say. But because my mother says, so, with no reason. So we were robbed of creativity. We were robbed of the self-esteem because it's my mother and my father that says whatever they say. They decide for us. Some people to date are struggling with making decisions. Don't, don't wonder when you see someone, you're like, Kwan I mean, make decisions, come here. Some of them had to approve, seek approval. And we think we are so disciplined. Some of us, we kuchapwa. We just followed an, a certain order because if you didn't, consequences were so severe that we had to follow. But today you always feel, I wish I was allowed to. 
I wish that, and remember, as kids grow, we call it child developmental stages. As a kid, a child grows, there's that space where you allow them to expand their cognitive, cognitive thinking ability. If you take a glass and something and make something, your child, your parent should applaud you, you know, congratulate you for this. That is how you build your esteem. But because I said so, we could only live and stay in a certain corner. So as much as we are very proud, most of people in our generation have a lot of issues. Self-esteem, that's why I want to say, I want now, and now they become parents. Now, they are the parents that we have today. So they want to remind their kids, I'm also a parent. Oh, yes. And as, as we were discussing and yeah. saying, imagine you are a parent, you don't need to prove to your child you are a parent. They know you are their mother and your father. Mm. Relax. Don't project, we call it project in, in counseling. Don't project whatever your par parent gave you, don't project it to your children, they are innocent. Our parents didn't have a lot of information that we, ha that we have today, so let's appreciate. So the fourth, which is the best parenting style, we call it authoritarian. Authoritative, sorry. The okay. former was authoritarian. Okay. Now we have authoritative parenting. Okay. In this, you sit down. Now this is where now the, the modern parents here sitting down, you wonder. Hey. Mimi na mtoto. Wapi? Mm -hmm. Kwa nani? Kwa nani? Kwa angu? <laughs> Imagine na najua ni kwako. Now this is something that we all need to agree. Eh? We didn't have a lot of information growing up. So sisi tuli grow too, like we survived. Uko tu katikati tu, we just survived. Eh? But then, these kids have a lot of information. And remember, we don't want to bring up kids with low assertiveness. A child that cannot, like, talk before people, that cannot express themselves. Mm -hmm. But then, parents that are parenting this generation, they have a lot of, we call it unresolved issues. A lot. A lot. So we have bitterness. So you want to remove your bitterness with your kids by parenting the way you are. We always say there comes a time where you need to make a change and be the best parent that you can. So this kind of parenting is where you make rules with your child. We believe this, that parenting and having a relationship with a child, it's like having a long loop. It ties a child with a parent. So when they are out there, they will always remember that loop, loop takes them back to that conversation. So as they grow, learn to con converse with them. Make rules. Please don't make rules on behalf of their kids. Make them part of this. In this house, we have values. One is respect. You know, one, the, one of the respect, honesty. We love each other. We say hi in the morning. Have those kind of values in your family. So have consequences of if you don't do this, what do we do? So now we are seated, we are discussing. We are discussing. Me with this boy. Now. Yes, yes, you're discussing. Eh? What do, what <laughs> do they need? Anasema, anasema. Imagine, they are the ones... You know, right now, thank wow. God for CBC. You know, right now, ask them, what are the values? They will tell them. They will tell you. So they know what they're supposed to be doing. And by there, they say, so suppose one of us uh, is not able to follow the rules. What do we do? No, we, what we can do, we can, we can withdraw privilege. We have to end up with pizza. They, they will think it's fun. That moment is fun moment. But now you as a parent, remember, this kind of parenting is where you as a parent, you have what you want. You communicate with the consequences, but you allow your children to talk as well so that they feel part of whatever you are doing. So it is a family way of doing it. By that, that is the only long-term way of parenting. A parent will forever be a parent. So, for example, we say if you don't do your homework today, then we are going to, you won't watch cartoon, something like that. Let me give a, a practical one. I, I have had issues with my kids doing homework, showering on time, going to bed on time. You know, those two things yeah. that make them delay and sleep late, then wake up late, they are tired, they are sleepy. And I realized now we needed to come up with something. And I remember we had an agreement. 
I realized the thing was not working. And I must say this, the, at times the mother in us wakes up faster mm. than whatever we are discussing. True. I must confess, I've been a victim of my, the mother of, of, in me waking up and beating them only to feel frustrated because beating didn't work. Mm. Because with the time they are like beating to, remember even in high school, mm. there are those Chap people who are like, Sini tatu za nani in my high school kuna tita alikuwa naitua so once a child gets there you cannot reach them out in your, anymore you need to reach them with love but because you want to bring up a disciplined child have a way of we say there's a difference between punishment and discipline punishment is meant to instill pain and nothing much but when you say discipline it's something that you rob of Identify a child. Of course, one day we'll discuss about personality. And then there's this cowboy that really loves going out. So you can say, if you do this by this time, you can have plus. So we came up with, with a way of them awarding themselves. You know, like Monday, if you finish on time, it's plus one, plus one, plus one. So we have three points per day. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's then zero. If you are becoming disciplined like you, you answer someone, you do something bad, you don't do your homework, it's negative. So you either have negative or positive. Or positive. So we said, by Friday, if you have X number is equals to caning. The most in Angezaka, the more kids in Mingi. If you have a or maybe you can make a mistake one or two, then you're not badly off, but you not have a privilege of having something that we do over weekend, a pizza, an ice cream or something. But then if you surpass, you know, you, you exceed expectations by doing a better thing, then when others are do, will be doing something, you'll have a plus. And you identify what they love most, we withdraw that privilege. I tell you, they'll feel so pained and they'll take care of themselves. They take it upon themselves. Why are we saying this? Because one day, your son will be someone's husband. Oh, yes. The only parenting style that is sustainable is that That's talking. Mm. And I don't say we don't beat. Remember, kwaizo tumejiwekea kuna zenye zinachapo. But kini can only go to a certain age. You can't kin someone who is a teenager. Or pretty nowadays, they're even taller than us. What are we saying? We have to learn a script. It's painful because we seem like we feel robbed off. We knew parenting is kukohoa. What one and get tinia kitanda? Yes. You get the point. Mm. So, therefore, parenting. Let us, we say, parent, becoming a parent is like having a tattoo on your, on your, on your fair, forehead. You cannot ignore it. So, at times, the modern parenting is not, it has the authoritative way, has its own ups and downs. It has its advantages. You grow with a child. You model them. Now, the problem is modeling. Because most of us want to be parents and absent parents. Also, most of us are quite busy. Yes. They are not intentional with this thing. Yes. You know, you feel like this baby is there. As you are saying, I'm providing. Ako. Mini mzazi, I'm busy. I'm looking for, uh, like I'm looking out for you guys. Niko koenje na hassle juen. So if you're not intentional, maybe that's when you find yourself. Na abuki a holiday, waende holiday, but niko job. Mm -hmm. How kumbuki that time is going? Yes. This man is going to become someone's husband. Then now this, all these problems that mm -hmm. were down here mm -hmm. are happening up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now what calls for parenting, this kind of parenting? Let's all agree. It is not for the faint-hearted. Oh, it is not. It is not. Oh, parenting is it not. It is not. Oh. You will have to balance. You know you have... This is why, uh, for women, you don't need to belong to all tamas in your village, in, in your mta, in, in, in street class. You know what's up. You have 10 what's up you need to attend in every... Mm -hmm. You have to post. Because for parenting, imagine you need just from one to a certain age. When I mm. But what you do for those 10 years, you never regret. It calls for you to have a schedule. I need to have to be with them during swimming. I need to have them over the weekend, spare one or two hours just to be with them. And please, not take your phone, because another challenge with this modern parenting, 
is why you walk in the house, you keep your, your, your nini there, and then you, you, you take your phone. And you think, see Nico now, see you wanna watch. You know, you want to distract your relationship with your kids, give them your phone. And now this phone, because they're also digital, how they get to know your password, God knows. <laughs> they go straight to mm. your gallery. Mm. And, and I ask parents, challenge, what is in your gallery? Because one day your kids will, they know, I am a counselor by the I talk a lot to kids. They tell me a lot of things. We know, we know daddy has another woman. Yes. So by the time you tell them, I want you to be disciplined, they are wondering. Yes. This sounds a laughing. Yes. There's someone who told me, I know daddy has another woman. We go, when he takes us, he talks so nicely to them. You know, and, and that is not how they talk to my mommy. He shouts, talks to mommy, shouts, and very, very angry. But now this woman, and I'm like, how are you? How was your night? Parents, can you be the right model? Because I'm wondering, remember, man can see, man can do. Kids don't need to. Kids have very small ear, but big eyes. It's what they see. They are able to watch more than they hear. So it calls for you to be intentional in your parenting. Oh, I love it is a task, but I tell you, you just need like 13 years. Because what is, we know, after those years, early childhood, now, people talk about teenagers. Teenagers basically express their disinfection, whatever they've been seeing growing up. Their disappointments. They have known your ways. I've known a teenager who, who bought her phone to abuse uh, the, 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 the father's side chick because she was, she was secretly fighting for the mother's space. She got the number. So before you go out, you're busy. At times you may not need, you, you need to spare time for your children. And I'm very sure now, those people who are calling themselves busy because I'm one of them, you have time for chamas. You have time for work, workplace uh, ceremonies and bashes. Mm, mm. You have time for team what buildings. you call team buildings. Mm. At times you need to create time, block it for your kids. You don't need to go eat every weekend out. So like a boot party like on a day. How many hours have you maybe with your kid? Especially those under under ten. Like roughly a in a week if I must admit, people at times especially those of us who are in, in, in town and working, you know, like late night and have to go early, plan yourself for a week. But never allow a child to come alale. Amke, alale tena kama huja mbona. As in, even if you are busy, make time in the morning, because they are going to school, make time in the morning, have brief, breakfast with them, then leave. Because for a child, it's not like a grown-up. Maybe today, they, we get, find someone, they will be abused. So they are emotionally down. They need someone to come and ask, how was your day? That's the time they will tell you, so-and-so abused me. How did you feel? So if someone say you are a fool, remind them you are not a fool. You are my wise son, my wise daughter, you are a bright one. Whatever you say, you will supersede what the colleague said. Yeah. But now, if you don't do that, with the time, it accumulates. And for kids, what the peers say about them matters a lot. So with time, they will grow knowing I'm a fool. You will never get to know because you never asked. So. Just created between Monday and Friday, at least to have breakfast with them. If you leave so early, at least to have dinner. Because most of the time, you either go very early, and come in you, there is a way you can be able to balance. Mm. But over the weekend, don't be Mama Chama. It's good to go to church, but don't go to church early in the morning. And all the meetings in church, then feel <laughs> to have time. The first responsibility that God has given you as a parent children. is your children. That is why he trusted you as a parent, those kids. Imagine it's okay to, to send apology to that fellowship and tell them, I've not been around. If you travel a lot, when you have not traveled, be with them. Take them out. Don't pay holiday for them. Because you have to pay for them. So you have to pay for them. 
You rather sit with them in the house in the evening. Go cook with them. Just make something they love with them. Have a walk. Don't tell me I don't have money to create. By the way, who said having time with kids is expensive? You need to, you can have a walk. I have that tradition of having a walk with my kids. And they just in a lollipop. Lollipop, yeah, ten bob. Mm. And they feel like that walk, they talk, things that come out of those walks. Yeah? They ask a question, you're like, Kai, niyaka kana ongea ka five years. And like, yeah, tell me more about it. Why they are relaxed. Mm. So I will not talk about definite time. Because there are people, honestly, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they go to school and they are busy. Yeah. But for seven days, you can't lack, you can't lack some time. And that time you create, sit down with them, keep off your phone. It's, it is possible for you to have your phone, mute, put it somewhere. But don't tell your kids to keep the phone off while you are throughout. They learn a lot from what they see, not what they hear from you. It's not for the faint-hearted, but it's a, it's a worthy cause. It for a worthy, is. Yes, it is. If you do it how it's supposed to be done. If yes. you, if you, because what, what I'm doing is unlearning. Yes. I am I'm trying to remove what I saw my mom do, mm -hmm. which is not easy. So I think even kama sa ini melan vitu mpya. Like ini baro na fio kwa nyumba ili ya mama yako kwanza ina tangulia. The mother inu ina <laughs> ina ruka kwanza. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this one for where you have like a sitting, we agree on this. If you don't do this, if you do this, kuna level ina zafika pia umtu yaka kwa entitled la. If I do my homework, I get a reward. So for me to do something. Ntaka kujua na, na lipo nini? Mm -hmm. So my only concern is apa kwa reward. Because mm -hmm. you know there's your entitlement that comes with nikifanya, napewa. Nikiosha vyombo, napewa. Tuseme you're giving them something. Mm -hmm. How far do I go with this reward thing? Because you know how these babies can be. Mm -hmm. I have to, if I do this, I get. So anafanya juu ya reward. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming kituka homework ni ufanyi, ama ufanyi, ama ufanyi. Mm -hmm. There's no option. Mm -hmm. Homework ni ufanyi. Mm -hmm. But kuna iye nye unaiza ifanya mpaka u mtoto waka kuwa, mm -hmm. entitled to. Mm -hmm. eh, Washa vyombo, what will you give me? Eh, wipe the table, so what will you give me? You know? Mm -hmm. So how do we border, how do we measure these things? Thank you for that question. By, by rewarding, I don't mean we become equals. I still retain my position as a parent. And by the way, you communicate. There's what you call house chores. You don't wash dishes, I pay you. Mm -hmm. It is. Because remember, in this kind of parenting, as a parent, I express my, my expectations. There's a guideline of how things to be done. But then, let me give an example. Maybe it's a holiday. They are, they are not going to school. There is, they, they, are, they request to watch cartoon. By the cartoon, you, you dictate when to be, wa to be watched. It's not their right. Mm. I, like, I, by myself, I communicate very well. This TV is This is my TV. You know, I, I hear some kids, they have entitlement of their, of their remotes. To me, that is news. That's why you pick your ownership. Mm. But then I am teaching you responsibility. Spread your bed because you need to be responsible. You're not doing it for me. I'm not rewarding you because you do. No, that is a requirement. Okay. But then they'll have a request. Will you mind we watch TV? Yes. But let's agree. What, do you, what shall you be watching? What time? We had a schedule over December, you know, we had two whole months. Eh? Mm. And so we agreed. In the morning, you wake up, first of all, freshen up, take your breakfast. Do homework first, because priority, as a parent, you are able to, 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 to guide on what, how things to be done. You need to do your homework first for like two hours. Then go out and play. Because, you know, they need cognitive, they need motor, you know, the ability, they need yeah. to go out and socialize. That, yeah. that helps them in their social life. Mm -hmm. They come back, take their lunch. After lunch, that's where now TV comes in. 
and we agree over lunch hour after lunch you're watching bible story cartoons so that one you know they are watching something that is helping them mm -hmm. in a different area then they go out play after dinner that's the time they used to watch their preferences but then i needed to know what they are watching every day there is parental control so as a parent they they, are, they feel like okay if you ask them they want to watch cartoon in the morning now you come in and say no you are watching after one two three so they feel at least we've been given a chance a widow to watch mm -hmm. as a parent you feel the work is done you are teaching them responsibility because they are doing one two three don't don't tell them you wash dishes i reward you know now the reward comes in if you do that on time if i said by 12 there's a time i came and they realized this this lady just leaves and comes so mama anakuja masa so at two they chose now it's the time to watch our cartoon whatever we want i walked in and we agreed because you have decided not to follow rules remember what we said in the next three days no watching tv it was the biggest torture three days like one two three they, they apologized they, they wrote placards we are sorry and you still didn't yeah yeah, yeah, three yeah, days yeah. see we agreed yes okay trust you me now, when the brother wanted to put on, the sister took the mom. Okay. And of course now, because I don't want again to find myself three days. Because they all agreed. Mm. Yes, by the way, we are not going to watch. And that is it. You don't finish your food. There's no snacks for the next one week. So they love snacks. You can imagine how they felt. But yes, tomorrow you have to finish because reward and withdraw privileges comes hand in hand but don't please play a role of pleasing your child now we say kadadi and kamami generation mm. you go to supermarket kadadi kana roll kanataka kanataka now this kuna job break and it was ah okay job break as we think in atosha na hivi i got to something big Wana roll na mliza kama mimi unafuliza ununulia kama mimi kesho utamfulizia kitu kingine my friend. Yeah. Please at times go with them to the supermarket tell them today we came we came to buy unga you know you know the mother in you comes in. There's mm. a time mother alikuwa anatuambia mom tukujia na nini na anasema hapana leo nimeenda kufanya kufanya shopping ya ngombe and I will never forget. Mm. In the evening she came na robes zile zile sort sort ya ile ya ya, ya ngombe oh mm -hmm. i tell you hakuna hata kitu moja tulibaiwa tulishtuka like hey okay is my mom serious at times let them know be unpredictable as a parent please don't get if you realize your children are taking the ownership please assert yourself without saying mm. mama umetukuja na nini leo hakuna kwa nini because janunua it is not a must. Mm, I have told my kids, have you prayed about it? At times I don't hata stima na ngoja kai times siishe tu. Kisha haya mama tu na haya hakuna. Have you prayed about it? I give them a prayer box. Mukitaka ask God and at times we'll hear them pray. And by that times that I umenunua kitu. We just want them to know things does that does yeah. happen. Eh? Mm. But as a parent, don't I always say don't lose to me i still have a beating don't lose yourself don't lose your space but as you assert yourself my question is who are you are you a model that your kids we we, we say this and this is a question that i ask parents when i do these things eh? if your child was to become just like you just like you how would it be i have a lot of work to do Thank you. Wacha nikafanye kazi. Thank you. Yeah, cuz he yes. no. I think bado sijafika hapo. Mm -hmm. Cuz if I'm shouting, mm -hmm. that's a kijana wangu ashinanga akishout kwa boma yake. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even look good for a man shouting shouting in the house. Thank you. Yeah, so I love that you've in, uh, you've uh, umetilia mkazo that be firm. Yes. Sio ati responsibility ya kutandika kitanda unapewa peremende. No. Kitanda ni itandikwe. 
it's your responsibility yes. to be neat. Yes. There's no reward for that. No. Exactly. I I I think is only mependa because those ones are still what we were taught to our parents. No no I just change. Mm-mm. I just change sana like it's not like our parents failed. No, they, they didn't. didn't fail 100%. Mm-hmm. Because I was wondering say itakuwa mpaka atausha sahani ka baba ndio nikupe sweet. Kama viombo ni zioshwe ni zioshwe. The only the only part which is hard because we have to unlearn ni hapo kwa so if uh, at this time watch tv if you don't do this i i feel like na struggle juni kwa hapo kwa hiyo ni kwa hapo kwa deep end unajua naelekea hapo 10 years so i have four years to correct if there's something i did wrong yes. so na feel like the hardest part is to unlearn mm-hmm. and to start trying using these new things and to be very intentional very Because you can imagine after this shoot the entire day I am tired I want to go home remove my makeup and rest yes. lay in bed yes basa kuna homework ya CBC na walimu akajua akatuwekea diary hapo nyuma tuko tunasema na hiyo ni yetu jua alijua hata muangalia ngi walishajua eh so because of that diary so you need to do that homework with him hata ukifika late ji kuna diary mwalimu ataenda kuangalia so It will be easier and if you get home ni chill ni rest I mean see akona kila kitu kwa nyumba eh ah na si akona kitu you know mm. but if now we bring being intentional to it oh yes oh utafika home hata ukae kwanza na hii makeup kwanza muongee 30 minutes yeah. you know imagine that that in the four kids they just need five five mm. minutes kwa who you molize how was your day Oh I felt disappointed to do was a long day. Uh-huh. Oh how did that make you feel? Oh oh sorry. If you learn anything negative. No, you need to affirm the child. No, you are fearful and wonderfully made. And kwambia adze atunaka nani no 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 no. He's not aware of my son. You're such a handsome young man. That is all they want to hear. Imagine two three minutes done. In the morning remind them on their way because the world is the world is waiting for our children. The internet, the world is waiting for us to fail so that they take over. Be very intentional in your parenting. It is not for the faint-hearted. I must confess as as well. I leave, I talk the whole day. I go home, I want to sleep. Mm. I I don't want even mom, mom, I don't want to hear. Mm. But when you remember, imagine those kids are just looking up to you. You just wake up and by then you feel so nice. Imagine we say it's more of kids don't we say we are unfolding a resilient generation it's like a rose flower you need to take care of these petals to see the beauty if you force it you destroy the flower but if you facilitate with the time it will blossom and you have a child who has everything they need for parents i like what you said You grew up this way, you have to parent. Our parents never failed. But we say mental health, a mother's and a father's mental health is directly related to a child's mental health. So if you have not dealt with what you call unresolved issues, you will definitely bring a child with issues as well. If you grew up in an angry situation, if your parents fought because now those are some of the things we deal day to day. You know, a parent who grew up with parents seeing their parents fights and so they got very affected. Some parents are overcompensating in the name of I wouldn't want to be brought up the way I were brought up. Mm-hmm. So you overcompensate you destroy the child. Others they now project again, they destroy. So if a parent is out here and they feel they have a lot of issues they need to deal let them go for a counsel let let them call and get some counsel so that their mental health becomes destabilize their mental health so that you bring up a child that is very balanced jupio io wo ye wo ye wo ye baba unataka i wo ye baba kababa na kamamba sana you spoil you spoil ukiwa mkali sana you spoil you spoil for you to be stable it is hard deal with your deal with your we call it the unresolved issue so that you you are now stable bring up a child in a stable environment get to know it is okay kumchapa but then wacha kukachapa kama kana nini you know you need to have a balance and talk even as you came came as you 
Remember what you said? Uh -huh. So what did you do this? Uh -huh. Na hii ingine. So ni ngapi unachapwa leo is equals to two. Bili. Sawa. Unataka mkono? Ama hapa nyuma hapa na eh, mkono ni kidogo tu. But we sure it happens. We were being given an example by a very nice counselor. Mm. Na tuambia, mm. kitambo, uh, sayu kisikia mtuto wako mechukua kikombe kwa kabati glasa, kashika, ikanguka, ikavunjika. What would be the first thing to do as a mom? Akatambia, most of us, tungesama, vunje yote! yote. Chukua zote, Marisa. vunje! Mariza, mm. siyo ndo kazi! Vunje zote! So, that is what most of us will do. Because mm. even do tulifunzwa, mm. chukua zote, vunje! But now this parent is telling us, now this counselor is telling us, first thing first, uliza umekatwa, ini glass, imekukata, mm -hmm. are you okay? Mm -hmm. eh? Like, first assure, let them feel safe. Mm -hmm. Mama angu anajali, sijakato, sijatoka, are you bleeding, are you okay? Okay, what was happening? Like, kwanza to discuss, because mm. even me, I can drink a glass. Thank Sia you. Siya vunja. Yeah. Glass hata saitu na vunja. Mm -hmm. But because of how you were brought up, nile ya, umevunja. Vunja. Sasa hata ujui kama ilianguka yes. bati mba. Ujui kama amekatwa. Mm -hmm. Ujui. Let the baby feel like safe. Which is quite hard. Jumimi nitasema vunja zote. Mm -hmm. Vunja zote. Na ni minyume kutumia glass. And maybe kalikunywa maji kakajiambia goja nipeleke sink. Okay. You should see first that that responsibility of feeling I don't need to have this glass on the table. Let me take it to the kitchen. So maybe I can't kweka kwa, kwa sin, kaka So you should see that bit and tell her, thank you for that. Next time ukitoa, unawekelewe hapa ju. Because a, black can, a glass can break. break. You are teaching them. It's hard. It's, it's not for the faint-hearted again, I say. Oh, it is not. But to the willing. We yeah. learn together. And by the way, it is okay to apologize for a child. Eh? To a child, yes. You say sorry. You say sorry. Eh? You see why you say sorry? Because you are modeling. Baba, I'm sorry. No, you can't. <laughs> 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 because they want to have a script. They will have a script from your parents. Oh, that's what I'm forming. They are, yeah, their world is blank. They are writing. When I mess, I apologize. Tomorrow, you cannot tell him to apologize. If you have not trained, apologize. they have not seen you apologize. Where? This one is At tough. times you can be mad and shout. And then after shouting, you realize, we say in this house we don't shout, we communicate. You're like, okay, I'm sorry for shouting. I was mad. But anyway, sorry for that. So let's continue the discussion. So tomorrow, imagine they'll be very fast to say sorry. Mm. Remember, we are bringing up someone's husband and someone's wife. Oh, yes. I want to challenge you. The way you are bringing up your children, would you want to marry? Or your sons to marry the same type of your kids. Ama wengine wanafanya hard work wengine wamelala. No. If only you brought up your... I have a daughter. Bring up your boy vizuri. Na mimi vizuri. I mean, we have a promising generation. That's true. Yes. So we say we are building a resilient generation. Because tomorrow the challenges are not decreasing. As a matter of fact, I can assure you, it's worsening. We are getting to, into a different world where every kind of thing will be, it's, it's floating. But as a parent, build a resilient child such that you'll be able to flow, to swim, to fly above the challenges by the right values and the right parenting. Wow. Thank you so much, Dr. Ray. Thank you Welcome. so much. Because then I feel like if you build that kind of generation, even if I'm not there as their mother, Apo badaya taishi tu vizuri. Anajua kukommunicate, anajua what is right and wrong, anajua, like, that will be a very easy person to live in the society. Yes. Hakutakua na stories, mama nani atafutu wakuji ongea na uki jana wake. That will be just a good person in the society. Wow. So thank you so much, Rose. Maybe before we end it, we've learned, personally, I'm going to try and and learn and try all these things. Mm. I'm going to be very intentional. Mm. Mimi, I really want to be intentional. Yeah. So I'm going to try. But maybe one take home for the parents who are watching, just one small thing ungependa tu wajaribu. Then it was idea maybe, but die. What I would like to say is, I like what you're saying. You are going to try. There is no perfect parent. And every child believes his or her own parent is the best parent ever. And the way you talk to your child becomes the inner voice. 
So you will backslide, you feel like um, I have not done the best, but baby steps. There is no, including myself, I'm not a perfect parent. I have my shortcomings. But every day we say a day at a time. It takes a willing heart to unlearn, relearn, and also learn new. You first of all, whatever you unlearn, mm -hmm. and then you want to learn new concepts. But it takes a willing parent. Let's all learn, endeavor to learn new scripts and give these kids the inner voice because you are the inner voice that a child wants to hear. Thank you so much. I am willing to learn. What about you? Are you? Thank you so much for coming to my show. I totally appreciate your time. You're welcome. And next time we'll come and talk about the different ages, the different, because I know 10, 6, 1, 13, yes. see the same. Oh, yes, sure. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I hope Nikki Kwambe Uritana Utakubali Kama Venya Tumekubali. Anytime. Thank Let's you. Let's so parent much. together. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. So we are going to have her details here, Farm Nest, in case there's anybody who wants to seek for your services, mm. at least to Saidike Wengi. Kabisa. Uh, you're welcome anytime. And thank you for a good job you're doing. This is great. Thank you. Because all of us need to learn. I'm also learning every day mm. because I'm also not a perfect parent. Thank We're all you. learning. Asante sana. Karibu sana. And thank you guys for watching. Until next week, tell me what you want us to discuss. So leave a comment. But until next time, it's a goodbye from us. Tuneza wambia. Kwaheri. Kwaheri. Asante sana. Thank you. That was nice. That was insightful. Very insightful. Nitajaribu. Aki ni kujaribu.